This is Muller's sign, visible pulsations of the uvula with every heartbeat. It's one of the many signs of aortic regurgitation. You'll never forget it in a few ways. Either that Ulla of Muller is the sign of the uvula, or remember that a Muller yogurt goes into your mouth. If you just tried remembering the M, you could confuse this with other eponymous signs of aortic regurgitation. But mnemonics mean nothing if you don't understand it, so let me explain why it happens. Aortic regurgitation is simply when the valve doesn't do its job properly. Blood leaks backwards from the aorta, past the aortic valve, into the left ventricle. There's lots of reasons why, but just think of the valve as a door, and the annulus and supporting structures as a door frame. By the way, if you want to master your OSCEs and your vibers, you may be interested in my guide Never Forget Clinical Exams. Comment OSCE for some free pages. When blood leaks back into the left ventricle, it causes more stretch. So it has a higher preload. If you recall Frank Starling's law of the heart, you'll know that that blood is now going to be pumped out harder, but then leaks backwards again during diastole. And that's what causes all of these signs. There's 13 eponymous syndromes in aortic regurgitation. How does this sign occur? In this case, the force of the stroke volume coming out of the heart causes the uvula to bounce and twitch with every heartbeat. And you most often see it if you ask the patient to open their mouth and say, ah, like, that's what's happening here. And now you know. But to lock it in, you need to test your active recall. I've got more memory hacks for you, but you're gonna have to follow me to come and see them next.